So do you guys remember last week when I told you about how Hillary Clinton is trying to smear Bernie Sanders by calling him a sexist? Well, she's back at it again, guys. And now, can you guys guess what she's doing to smear Bernie Sanders? That's right. She is now accusing him of racism. I'm not kidding. So at the NAACP meeting in Charleston, South Carolina, she said, quote, There are some who say that this is an urban problem, and she's referring to gun violence. Sometimes what they mean by that is, it's a black problem, but it's not. It's not black, it's not urban, it's a deep, profound challenge to who we are. So basically what she's implying is that when Bernie Sanders talks about the differences between urban and rural communities, well, he's not talking about urban cities and developed cities and whatnot. He's talking about the urban culture. He's talking about black people. They're the ones who are perpetuating all this gun violence. Well, Hillary Clinton knows damn well that that's not what Bernie Sanders is talking about. He's talking about the cultural differences when it comes to gun policy preferences among urban cities and more rural communities. But I come from a rural state, and the views on gun control in rural states are different than in urban states, whether we like it or not. And what he's saying is not wrong. I mean, there's a lot of differences between urban cities and rural areas. So to try to smear him and state that he is talking about black culture and that it's their problem, I mean, geez, I, I, it actually leaves me, leaves me speechless in a way because the ignorance here is just insane. I also love the irony here because this is coming from an individual who endorsed Bill Clinton, her husband's policies. He was really tough on crime and that led to mass incarceration of African Americans and Latinos. She thought that was a great policy and only now she's starting to think, mm, maybe I'm not a I'm not in favor of that anymore because it's going to hurt my campaign. And furthermore, she praised her husband's welfare reform. And we all know that that was Republican welfare reform. Bill Clinton allowed Republicans to gut welfare. And who did that hurt? That disproportionately impacted African-Americans and Latinos. Actually, in particular, African-American women, because African-American single mothers, well, they couldn't get the welfare benefits that they needed because of Bill Clinton. So let's not forget about that aspect. So Hillary Clinton is basically running a downright terrible, deplorable, morally unjustifiable campaign. And I believe the last time I saw something of this nature was back in 2008 when she ran the same type of campaign against Barack Obama. Here's why I don't think this is going to help her, and I think this is going to be terrible for her. So this might help her get through the Democratic primary, maybe by calling Bernie Sanders a sexist and a racist. Well, perhaps that resonates among some of your followers who are just mindless drones and don't even critique you. They dislike you because your last name is Clinton. Well, that's fine and dandy, but I've got news for you, Hillary Clinton. When you get to the general election, what you've done to get there is you've basically rubbed dirt in the faces of perhaps 40% of the Democratic electorate. I'm talking about progressives. I'm talking about Bernie Sanders supporters. So you're expecting that once you've completely pissed off every single Bernie Sanders supporter, that we're going to support you in the national election? You're delusional. I mean, look, I can't tell you how many people I've talked to and seen saying that if it is Hillary Clinton that becomes the Democratic nominee, they're either going to abstain, they're writing in Jill or they're voting for Jill Stein or they're writing in Bernie Sanders. Now, I disagree with that. I still plan to vote Democrat no matter what, only because I'm so terrified at the prospect of a Republican winning the White House. But Hillary Clinton is making it even more and more difficult than it already is to cast a vote for her. And <laughs> the fact that she thinks that she can win this way and then go on and ask for our votes when she gets to the general, if that is the case, uh-uh, that's not going to happen. You've now become a liability to the Democratic Party because you've pissed off half of the Democratic electorate and now they're not going to want to vote for you. They may not vote Republican, but do you think that they're going to be excited to vote for you after you accused Bernie Sanders of sexism and racism and you just smeared him at every chance you got when he defended you against your email scandal? I don't get it. She's not thinking clearly. Is she going to accuse him of being homophobic next week? I'm excited, man. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go, Hillary Clinton. Because anytime you accuse him and try to smear him, I'm going to come out and refute it. Because you know it's not true. I know it's not true. People who are smart and have a brain know it's not true. Because you know what he's saying. We all know what Bernie Sanders is saying. But you're trying to misinterpret what he's saying. So that way you can maybe prime people into thinking that he's racially insensitive. Maybe even racist. Because he's an old white man. 
But the truth is, Bernie Sanders is a civil rights activist, okay? He has the strongest criminal justice reform platform out of anyone. So if you think Hillary Clinton is going to be better on race issues than Bernie Sanders, that's just funny.